This tutorial will demonstrate how to search for evidence-based practice using CINAHL headings. To start, click on the nursing link under Library Resources 4 on the library's homepage, library.tulsa.ou.edu. Select CINAHL. At this point, you may be prompted to log in using your OUHSC credentials. We will conduct a search using CINAHL headings. CINAHL headings are the controlled subject headings for this database. They are assigned to each article based upon the subject content and allow you to create a more targeted search. We will use the following clinical question to demonstrate creating a search using CINAHL headings. For a 68-year-old obese patient, which is more effective for weight loss, diet, or exercise? Before we begin to search, we first need to adjust our question to fit the PICO format. The PICO format helps define questions to address specific clinical issues and aids in finding relevant, relevant evidence in the literature. P stands for patient, population, or problem, I for intervention, C for comparison, and O for outcome. Using the PICO format, we'll choose the following subject terms to structure our search. Population, aged obese patients, intervention, diet, comparison, exercise, outcome, weight loss. To start, we will match our search terms to the CINAHL headings used in this database. Make sure the Suggest Subject Terms checkmark is checked. Enter the word obese into the search box and click the search button. This is the CINAHL headings result page where you can choose the headings that best describe your subject. If you are not sure of a particular term, you can look at the scope note to get a brief definition. Access the scope note by clicking on the yellow quotation box for a particular term. For our search, we will use the general term for obesity. Click the checkbox next to the term obesity. This will add the CINAHL heading to our search. You can also decide to explode your term or designate the term as a major concept. Using the explode feature expands your search while using the major concept feature limits your search. Click the checkbox for explode. For now, we will not use the major concept feature. Once you select a CINAHL heading, you will also have the option to limit your search by selecting a variety of subheadings for your subject heading. These subheadings appear to the right of the subject headings in a blue box. You can view the scope of each subheading by clicking the yellow quotation box. For now, we will keep our search broad by not selecting any subheadings. We are now ready to search the database for references with our CINAHL heading of obesity. At the far right, you will see the option to search database and a list of your selected subject headings with any set specifications. Explode should be the only option checked. Click the Search Database button. You now return to the main search screen, but this time with a list of results. As you can see, there are over 80,000 results for this search. We'll leave those alone for now and continue by searching for another term from our clinical question. This time, we'll search for one of our interventions, diet. Enter diet into the search box and select search. Check the box next to the term diet and select the explode button. At this point, we could search the database for the diet heading or we can browse for additional terms. For example, we could add in a heading for our comparison intervention, exercise. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the link browse additional terms. In the search bar, enter exercise. Check the box next to the heading exercise and select the explode option. At the far right, you will see the option to search database and a list of our two selected subject headings, diet or exercise. The combine selections with uh, option is automatically set to or. This means that we will retrieve references with either one or both of these CINAHL headings. Changing the option to AND 
will retrieve references that have both headings. Keep the option set to OR, and then click the Search Database button. We again return to the main search screen, but with a new list of results. There are over 180,000 results for this search. We are now ready to search for our final outcome term, weight loss. Enter weight loss into the search box and proceed as we did through the CINAHL heading search for the previous terms. Don't forget to check explode. You should now receive a result set of over 19,000 references. We now have three separate sets of search results. None of these searches are connected to each other in any way. However, we can change that by combining these three searches. To do this, first select Clear to empty your search box. Then select the check marks next to each search in the search history, and then click Search with AND. The three searches are now combined, leaving you with over 3,500 articles. This result set contains articles that have obesity, diet or exercise, and weight loss as CINAHL headings. At this point, we would probably want to start applying limits to our results so that they better fit our search criteria. To the left of your results are options for you to refine your results based upon specific criteria, including publication dates, source types, publication types, and even age. Let's first narrow our results by the type of study. To find this option, you need to click the Show More link under the Limit To section. You are now seeing all of the limits available to you in the CINAHL database. Scroll down the list of options to find the Publication Type section. You can select multiple publication types by using the control key on PCs or the command key on Macs. For now, let's select the randomized control trial option. Scroll down to the bottom of the page to select search. We now have over 500 results, limited just to randomized controlled trials. We still need to limit the articles to people more like our 68-year-old patient. You can limit by age group by following the steps we just completed for publication type, or you can use the age category. Scroll down to the find the age category on the left side and select the arrow to view your options. To fit our clinical question, we would want to select the option Aged 65 plus years. This should limit our results to nearly 200 citations. Now that we have included all elements of our clinical search question, we could start to review the results. Or you could decide to add more limits like publication date and language, or go back to add the major concept designation or subheadings to your CINAHL headings. To learn how to search other databases, check out more of the library's evidence-based practice tutorials. Happy searching!